Hey everybody, nature has rules. And in order to develop properly and to lead a happy, healthy, and full life, these rules must be followed. And you know, it's important that I say that because today we're gonna be talking about the negatives about being purely positive or you know being purely any one thing for that matter you know it's important that we add in as many things as we can and we learn from as many different sources as we can uh, when we do anything because we want to have everybody's conclusion you want to have everybody's work and you want to put it all together and learn as much as you can from every individual little thing never toss away something because it sounds crazy just take as much as you can from everything and don't just put yourself in a little box where you only talk about one thing or only know one thing learn from as much as you can so that's what we'll be talking about today and i want you to know purely positive crowd i get it i understand the impulse and the want to shelter your kids dogs you know from all the negative aspects of the world and and i get it it's a scary place out there but you know that's not natural and it's not a realistic thing to do because negative things happen every single day and if we don't prepare our dogs or us as humans for these negative things, what happens when inevitably we come across something negative? Will we crumble? Will we fall? What will happen? You know. So it's important we do these things, and it's important we learn from as many different sources as we can. And you know. So all that being said, I'm also not quite sure these you know these people understand definitions too well because teaching no limits, self control, you know, uh, discipline. These are not negative things. These are completely positive things. They ensure proper direction and development within their environment, you know? It's, it, it just, it, you know, it doesn't make sense to not add more to your arsenal. It doesn't make sense to that. And not adding more to the arsenal is exactly why we're ending up with all these over-medication cases and all these people recommending euthanasia because they don't have more knowledge or they they didn't expand their knowledge they said this is the only way this is the one way this is how we're doing it done and that's irresponsible and you know it's unethical we have an epidemic right now of applied animal behaviorists a behavior specialists you know that's those are the people that modify behavior using like fake hands and it, all these gadgets and gizmos of plenty and all this stuff and all of these people and the purely positive crowd of course they any dog with any maladaptive behavior any problem they cannot solve any dog that goes into their program and does not fit their blanket approach or anything like that they cannot work with i cannot tell you all of my requests all of my requests are literally from people that say yeah you know a trainer couldn't work with my dog a trainer couldn't do this a trainer couldn't do this yeah my dog's on medication all this i cannot tell you how many times this has happened and we fixed the dog in no time and you know, and that's also talking about my disappointment in colleges and the information there because applied animal behaviorists, they euthanize dogs left and right like this for nothing. And it's insanity to me. Look, I'll use an example of somebody I have in my home right now. And we're talking about Rosie. So my wife was working at a vet clinic and they had this dog that was in a kennel 23 hours a day. You know, it was abusive. She saw the situation. She's not working there anymore because it's unethical to work there. And we can't be working, you know, with these people doing declaws and doing all this type of stuff. We learned about the abuse, got her out of there immediately. And that's, that's what you got to do. You can't work for people like this. The point is they got Rosie in a kennel 23 hours a day. She's human aggressive, dog aggressive, can't ever be next to dogs. They have a applied animal behaviorist that gives behavior, behavioral consulting at the clinic. And she go, nah, you, th uh, you know, uh, Rosie need to be euthanized. There ain't nothing you can do. She gonna hate these dogs forever. Da, 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 da. Long story short, after we finagled a way to rescue her out of that uh, vet clinic, you know, because it was hard. It was a whole thing that is a whole story for a different day. Rosie comes into our house. And I'm not telling you, within a week and a half, I have her completely... You know, muzzleless, living the best life with all her brothers and sisters, doing everything a normal dog can do. So don't you tell me, people, that this dog has to be put to sleep and dogs have to be medicated and put to sleep. Guess what? They don't. There's ways to help. And being purely anything, purely po or being purely in your thoughts and thinking you know everything will not help the dog. Expand your knowledge. Do more. You can't be purely one thing. You cannot be purely one thing. The point is... I stand firmly against purely positive trainers. 
or purely anything trainers. Uh, and let me just say this, you know, this negative, a purely like, you know, negative crowd where they do harsh corrections and all this, the last thing we need is a dog performing commands for you because they are terrified of the consequences. So stop doing that. That's so abusive. And, you know, either way, the whole point is, this is, and all of these things that are just purely one thing are, are to me unethical and they really are detrimental to the growth of your dog. So do more, do better, be better, and, uh, you know, let's get more involved in the community. Let's have more conversations and, you know, let's do it. Uh, you know, I don't think, I don't think that any of these people are evil or they want to euthanize or medicate the dogs because they're bad people. I really don't think that. I think that they know as much as they can about, about what they know and they're limiting themselves there because they think for some reason, boom, that's all the information there is. Everybody that thinks differently is wrong. And I think maybe that's what's wrong with the culture in general. Everybody that thinks differently is wrong. You know, well, I'm here to tell you guys, a lot of what all of you guys do works, except you abuse the people. Uh, don't scare your dogs. Don't do that. But a lot of, you know, but even that works. I mean, it gets the desired result, but it's abusive and it's horrible and it should not be done. So that being said, a lot of these things work and we should learn from all of these things and implement as many as we can into everything we do so we can, you know, we have to grow. So let's all grow together. Let's not fight. Let's not do all these separate things. Let's grow together. Let's do better. Let's do more for the dogs. And we got to remember we're a team. We're a community. Uh, I'd like to thank my nine subscribers. Eee! Thank you everybody for uh, watching the videos. Everybody else hit that like button, subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get notified of when the videos come out. I swear these are hard. I love all y'all so much.